What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 7.0 7.1 for the iPhone 4 GS7 CDMA model. This does not work on the iPhone 5S, 5 and 4S, as well as the iPod Touch and iPad. Also this jailbreak is a tethered jailbreak, meaning you'll have to use your computer to turn it on if you happen to reboot the device. So the first thing I want to show you is how to put it in the FU mode, because that's what you're going to be doing a few times during this jailbreak process. So the first step is to turn off your iDevice make sure the little spiral thing completes like so and you're going to hold on to the power button and the home button for 10 seconds like so once those 10 seconds are out you're going to go ahead and let go of the power button and keep holding on to the home button that should be the process for putting your device in DFU mode alright I'll put the download links in the description but what you're going to be downloading is Rage Break 1.4 which is the one I'm using on so once you have it in your desktop you're going to go ahead and right click go to properties go to compatibility and then run this program as administrator checked click apply click ok and you want to go ahead and install the actual jailbreak application itself so like I said it's a tethered jailbreak and you're going to need a computer if you were to reboot your device or if the battery were to run out alright so once it's installed you're going to get a new icon rage break I did not get the chance to put it in the video because it's installed on the bottom left of my screen but you should be able to get this window which I'm going to show you right now it's pretty simple you don't get confused by the whole letters and commands and stuff like that but once you put your iDevice in DFU mode you want to go ahead and click on jailbreak press ok to make sure that it's on DFU mode and you're going to get this SSH tool like so don't do anything until it says complete So. it's going to take a while I did speed this video up for your convenience because I know you guys don't want to sit through the whole jailbreak process so once it says success you want to go ahead onto the little pop-up window and press OK you're gonna get a new command prompt with red text I'm not sure if it's red text just for my computer but it's gonna ask you for a answer you want to go ahead and click on Y and then press enter and it's gonna pretty much do a lot of uh, commands it's going to open up another command prompt. It's going to ask you the same, well, not the same question, but another qu question. Just simply click Y or press Y and then uh, press Enter. Then you're going to get that. All right, once that's done, it's going to close by itself. and then the other command prompt should be finishing up I also got a fatal, fatal error on that command prompt but I still got it to work alright once that's done you can go ahead and click on OK so the next step is now is to boot it on your respective uh, firmware 3.1 or 3.1 is for AT&T and T-Mobile 3 dash or 3 comma 3 is for Verizon and Sprint so as you can see there you can have five options depending on which firmware you're jailbreaking you're going to click on that so for my iPhone I was on 7.0.4 go ahead and click on that make sure your iDevice is in DFU mode again and once you have that in DFU mode you're going to go ahead and let it sit now you should expect your iDevice to have a wall of text like so that's normal and then you should be able to unlock it go ahead and unlock it and just leave it there for now if it asks you for like trust the computer just press trust and just lay it down it's gonna restart by itself and you have to put it back into DFU mode so that's the third time we're gonna put the di I device in DFU mode once it's in DFU mode you wanna go ahead and click the button again and you're gonna go through the same process I'm gonna speed this up because it's really nothing new alright so once it's done, you're going to get the wall of text again, and it should allow you to unlock your iDevice. So this whole jailbreak process is a long process, and right now it's kind of, I want to say pointless, because not, there's not many tweaks out there in the city that are compatible with iOS 7. So right now our iDevice is booting up and we should be able to get Cydia once it's uh, fully turned on
right I'm gonna go ahead and slide to unlock and then if we scroll over after pressing trust you should get Cydia like so being as it's an iPhone 4 it might take a while for it to load up but like I said there's not really much tweaks or a lot of tweaks that are compatible with iOS 7 so as of right now I think there's only like a handful of tweaks and they're pretty much minimal or minuscule tweaks I want to say I don't want to offend anybody if you're working on a tweak for iOS 7 but as of right now there's not much to it so in case you really 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 want to have a jailbroken iDevice and you have an iPhone 4 with you then by all means just use this jailbreak as you, as you can see at the bottom there it says iPhone 4 GSM iOS 7.0.4 running on Cydia 1.1.8 so that's pretty much is pretty much it so if you guys like this video please click the like button if you have any more questions post a comment and if you want to see more videos like these please subscribe thanks